You probably have seen this alien looking creature before, the octopus. Let's find out everything you didn't know about this fascinating animal. An octopus belongs to the order Octopoda and to the molluscan class of cephalopods, which is Greek and can be translated as head foot. Other members of this class are for example the squid, the cuttlefish or nautilus. These animals are exclusively aquatic and are characterized by bilateral body symmetry, a prominent head and a set of tentacles or arms which are basically a modified version of the molluscan foot. They can be as small as 5 cm or as big as 5.4 meters. Octopuses can be found in every ocean of the world, where they mainly live in coastal marine waters. They are solitary animals and often use small holes and crevices in the underwater rock to hide and rest. Natural enemies, excluding humans, are some species of shark, big eels, sperm whales, seals and sometimes sea otters, and different species of birds. However, fortunately they are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list of threatened species. Their diet is often dependent on their habitat and surroundings, but octopuses mainly feed on crabs, sea stars, clams, snails, small fishes and crayfish. The only hard part on their body is the mouth, which is located on the underside of the animal. Octopuses have a pair of sharp and horn-like beaks and also a file-like organ, the radula. This can be used as a drill for shells or to rasp away flesh. Now enough with the general information, so what it is exactly now that makes the octopus so special? As some of you might know, octopuses are considered to be one of the most intelligent species on this planet. At first sight it might seem crazy to believe that this boneless, alien looking being is amongst the most intelligent living beings, but it is certainly true. We briefly talked about their body and how they look. They have a prominent head and eight arms or tentacles that are directly merged with the head. But the special thing about them is not necessarily their appearance, but actually what and in which capacity is inside. First of all, they have three functioning hearts. Two of them are only there to pump blood through the gills. The other one pumps blood through the rest of the body. Rather than iron-based blood, their blood is copper-based, which is more efficient at transporting oxygen at low temperatures and it makes their blood blue in color. But where it actually all starts is with the completely unique and versatile arms. Each of the eight arms can be moved and twisted in an almost infinite number of ways and they have each over 200 suckers. Every single one of those suckers can feel, taste and smell their surroundings. And to top that off, the arms can do that independently from one another. Usually this would lead to a processing issue in the brain because of a sensory overload. But the octopus actually has an incredible solution to this. They have a large-scale nervous system with over 500 million neurons, which is similar to those of a dog. But unlike vertebrates like the dog, where those neurons are almost completely located in the brain, two-thirds of the octopus nervous system is actually spread over their body and arms. This allows the separate and independent usage of each arm. Studies and research has shown that there is a connection between the central brain and the arms, but the totally unique nervous system makes it seem like the octopus is rather a nine-brained creature. Now that we talked about this animal's crazy body and nervous system, let's move over to how the octopus intelligence actually presents itself and how this intelligence allows them to be creative in a lot of different ways. Octopuses use every kind of learning that they have been tested on, they explore and they play, remember where they have been and even plan for the future. Back in 2009, biologists reported having observed the animals excavating coconut shells from the ocean floor and carrying them for use as protection and portable shelters. Such behavior is regarded by biologists as the first documented example of tool use by an invertebrate. Since then there are numerous other reports and sightings on the octopus intelligence. Same as with the coconut shells, octopuses also use flat stones and other hard materials as an improvised shield and protection against predators. 
Next to the tool usage, they are also highly adaptive to their surroundings and can actually learn to use it to their advantage. Because of its soft and very flexible body, the octopus uses every little gap and crevice in underwater rock to hide or search for food. Same thing is true for the big and muddled leaves of kelp forests, which they use to confuse the predator and to hide until it's safe to come out again. When they have to make a run, or in their case a swim for it, they often eject an inky substance as a distraction and in some cases even to paralyze the sensory organs of the attacker. Sometimes they go as far as stranding themselves on rocks and plateaus for a short period of time to evade predators. Their versatile arms even allows them to kind of walk or crawl when they are out of the water. As you can see, octopuses are highly adaptive animals when it comes to their surroundings. But what is even more interesting is their behavior and ability to learn when it comes to hunting its prey. While hunting crayfish, it was seen and filmed that the octopus uses its highly flexible and stretchable skin to form kind of an umbrella out of their body when they are directly above a crayfish. Crayfish often dash straight up when they are startled and with the huge umbrella octopus above them, they will swim directly in the trap. Another example of creativity and intelligence is the report of an octopus finding its way and hiding in a storage room of fisher boats where they are feasting on the catch with very low effort. An absolutely crucial and important thing that helps the octopus with hunting as well as evading predators is the fact that they are the absolute masters of camouflage and mimicry. Most of you probably have seen a chameleon which is known to be able to change their skin color to match its surroundings. With the chameleon this process actually takes a couple of seconds. Octopuses on the other hand can change the color and also the shape of their skin in almost an instant. To better understand this ability let's have a closer look at the octopus skin. The octopus skin is a whole organ system which can vary in color, pattern and even texture. It is full of chromatophores which are the pigment carrying parts of a cell and are under direct neural control. Under those chromatophores are cells that are called leucophores. These cells can reflect ambient light. And in between the chromatophores and the leucophores, some cephalopods also have the so-called iridophores. Considering the fact that an octopus only has one photopigment in its eye and is therefore most likely colorblind, makes the whole camouflage even more baffling. So how does it actually work? The outer chromatophores are like the color pixels on television screens, but expensible. Pigment is contained in elastic sacs that are pulled out by muscles and can go from a barely visible pinpoint to a sprawl of color. When these chromatophore sacs are shrunken, the deeper layer, the leucophores, are revealed. They reflect all wavelengths of light. This means that animals can conceal themselves by matching the colors of the light around them. Like we mentioned before, in between those layers is another layer of cells called iridophores. Instead of pigment, they have reflective properties similar to those of hummingbird feathers. Layers of platelets within the cells containing a protein called reflectin bounce only specific wavelengths of light back out. Their color changes depending on the angle of the viewer, but neurotransmitter release can also change the amount of reflectance and the peak wavelengths reflected varying from red to green. All these little parts together, with the help of their incredible nervous system, makes it possible for them to be an octopus in one second and a perfect mimic of its surroundings in the next, including color, reflection and even shape. I think all in all it's fair to say that this alien looking creature is for sure one of the most fascinating animals on this planet. It is also believed that they actually could be capable of much more if they on the one hand would live longer and on the other hand would live in a community. In that way they could observe each other and therefore learn and teach more. Nonetheless one of my absolute favorite animals and I hope I could spark your interest for it too. If you want to learn even more about octopuses I highly recommend the Netflix documentary My Octopus Teacher. It is for sure in my top 5 best documentaries of all time. Also feel free to check out all the sources in the description box down below. On the way down there it would be highly appreciated if you could leave a like on this video to show us and YouTube that you enjoyed the content. Also you might want to consider subscribing for more content like this and everything nature and wildlife. It only takes a second to do and is completely completely free. Tell us in the comments what you want to see next and most importantly have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.